A common misconception in probability is that independent and mutually exclusive are synonymous, that they mean the same thing. They do not. Okay? We must make that clear. So if two events, A and B, are independent of one another, then that means that if A were to happen, that doesn't mean that B is going to be any more likely or less likely to happen, and vice versa. Okay? So, that would mean that A does not affect the likelihood of B happening, and vice versa. So let's say that there is um, a game that you're playing where you win if you roll a six on a fair six-sided dice and you've got to pull an ace from a pack of 52 playing cards. Okay? If you roll a six on the dice, that does not then affect the likelihood of you pulling an ace from the 52 card pack. Okay? The two events are completely independent of one another. One will not affect the outcome of the other. Okay? That's what we mean by independent events. And subsequently, if those two events are then independent, then what that means is that in order for the intersection to happen, then that means that you can multiply the two probabilities together. OK? So, in other words, if we go back to that game of rolling the 6, so the probability of that is 1 sixth of getting a 6, and the probability of picking an ace from a pack of 52 playing cards is 4 out of 52, or 1 out of 13. So you'd have 1 sixth times 1 thirteenth, and that would be the probability of winning the game. So that is what independent means. Now, mutually exclusive. A and B are mutually exclusive when A cannot happen at the same time as B. So if they cannot happen at the same time, then A and B are mutually exclusive events. So I have, I'm going to roll that dice once. Okay? I cannot get both a 6 and a 5. Those two events are mutually exclusive. I pull a card from a pack of 52 playing cards. I cannot pick an ace and a king at the same time. I cannot pick a heart and a club at the same time. They are mutually exclusive events. Okay? So the, the consequence of that is that the intersection of the two must therefore be zero. There is no way that you can have A and B happening at the same time. If you were to draw this as a Venn diagram, it would look like this. There is no overlap of the two circles. They cannot happen at the same time. And so that represents two events that are mutually exclusive. So they are different ideas. Okay? They come up in different, um, in different types of question. And really, the confusion often comes from the fact that you learn them at the same time. That's how they can often get muddled. Okay? So you need to be clear on these two definitions and make sure you don't get them mixed up.